Good morning. It is April 2nd, 2020, and I want to give a devotion to you today that is probably a good thing to think about during this time. Now, this is going to be directed towards students and young adults, but this is for anybody, really. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been so frustrated with somebody that you need to take a step back and say, if I continue then our conversation, our interaction right now is going to become negative and going to affect our moods a little bit more. How many more of those times have happened since you've been stuck in the house with your parents, with your siblings? Okay, so now that you've thought about that, read with me Ephesians 4, 2, and 3. Now, when we're talking about this, this is a Bible passage that is talking about new believers encouraging each other and you should encourage each other inside of the faith, especially if you're new, especially if you have a group of believers that are new. But I feel that like this can apply to this time. If you go to Ephesians 4, 2, and 3, it says, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Now, in my life, the reason I read this and think it applies to me is my five-year-old and I have had some arguments over the last couple of days. My son is doing schoolwork, not at school. My son is not able to go to the park. We want to go on walks, but he doesn't want to go on the nature trails, right? There are a lot more opportunities for him and I to argue with each other. I can keep the bond of peace with him. I can be humble and gentle with him, right? Now, apply that to yourself. So think about yourself and the people you are with right now, or the people that you are going to be around a while with. Now... I'm hoping everybody in your household is a Christian and this can apply to you, but I still think this can apply to anybody anyways. Think about those in your house who might frustrate you and think about if they do or if they do something, what you can do to help de-escalate that situation. Back to me and my five-year-old. I could have yelled at him and yelled at him and yelled at him. We just spent 30 minutes screaming back and forth. He got spanked and eventually got his room cleaned, right? But I took a step back and I waited five minutes and I went back in there and said, Ryan, why haven't you cleaned your room? And he started getting frustrated again. I said, Ryan, you need to clean your room. And he looked at me and he apologized. A five-year-old apologized to me for doing that and started cleaning his room. And I helped him, right? I stepped in and I helped him. But in this time, it is so needed that we are encouraging one another. We are being gentle and humble bearing with one another love, right? In this time, it is so important that we are being completely humble and gentle, making every effort to keep the unity of spirit through the bond of peace. I understand this Bible verse is talking about being a Christian. Apply that to your household today. Apply that to how you're interacting. Does it take a lot of work? Absolutely. But remember that we are all in this together right now I just encourage you to think about how your interactions with others are going and whether they are positive interactions or they are negative interactions. I am not sure how long this is going to go on for, but I do know that we need to keep the peace. We need to be humble and gentle so that those we are interacting with on a daily basis can have positive interactions with us and from us.